Well, all right, all right, all right. Welcome to another one about my Sumps World of Tanks Xbox 360 replays. Yeah, I'm doing a few videos that are 360 based, um, getting rid of some of the archives. Uh, so this will be in the uh, Time Warp series eventually. Um, I'm playing solo here. I'm in the AMX 5100 piece of crap. I am bottom tier in a pretty heavy tier 10-9 match. We're on Mines Rain, and the reason I'm saving this isn't because it was exceptional gameplay, but I'm up against um, some friends. Uh, a fellow YouTuber, Knight in Phoenix, um, his brother, Grey Ghost in Phoenix, uh, Krager is in their platoon, and I'm not sure who the other one is. Um, I don't know who that person is, uh, Kurt Kane, or so can't you know say much about him, but... Uh, we're going to see what happens here, and uh, the beginning of this game is fairly slow. I really don't have a... It's really not a good game whatsoever at the beginning, but... Um, you know, I end up pulling something off towards the end that... I mean, it's not. Like I said, the game isn't exceptional. The only reason I did it was I saved it and then I'm recording it. It's because I have a f so much in in the archives um, that I just I either gotta just delete them or process them put some narration to them and upload them or do something with them um, so I'm going through I have a a folder that's time warp and it's like on know 46 gigabytes of just videos that are old that are more than you know a couple months old usually once a video gets a couple months old I toss it in that folder um, if I hadn't done a replay video on it yet, then it's kind of eh. And this one, like I said, my play in it is not exceptional by any means. A lot of it is is boring. Um, the first, I don't know exactly. Uh, it's it's a long video. It's going to be 15, 16 minutes, and the first probably five or six minutes, I don't even think I fired a shot. Um, again, I don't like this tank I'm in. Some people love it. I hate it. Um, this was done back when they had the uh, on track to whatever the 50B or whatever it is there, the AMX, whatever the t tier 10 is. But I'm in a I'm in a tier 10 game with a gun that you have to hit weak spots. I don't care what people say. I mean, I know it's got six shells, but four of them are going to bounce. You're only going to get two penetrations unless you're hitting the back of tanks. Um, it's not overly fast. It's got French armor, which means it has no armor. Um, it's huge, which means everything sees it, so it's got no camo value. And it cannot penetrate anything. The, game, the gun isn't even... It's not even French-like. Sometimes the French guns going up through this line, um, up to this tank, they will be hit or miss. You'll hit, 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 and then all of a sudden you'll have a complete miss. Like, I mean, laser hits the first four. And then the fifth one is at the outside of the reticle. Just, a, you know, like someone bumped the, the cannon as you fired. And then the next three will be perfect laser shots, and then the next one will be a weird one. This gun is just so random. Um, and I hated the tank, and like I said, this was during, I believe, I'm pretty sure it was during that event, and I was trying to get through it and trying to get through it and just, yeah, it... Yeah, I... I ended up getting rid of the tank. I never went to the 5120. Uh, I I played that whole, I don't know, it was two weeks or if it was a month. Played this tank constantly and, and didn't have enough to get the next tank, so I just gave up. Um, the American autoloaders for me, the T57, the T69, and the T54E1 are all better than these tanks in, in the French line. That's just me, though. You know... Maybe I don't know how to play it, because some people swear up and down this is just a killer tank. I just... It did not work for me. And maybe I'm playing it wrong. Maybe sitting back and, you know, at 300 meters trying to pick, pick shots at a tank isn't what you're supposed to do. But you don't have the speed or the armor, unless you're in a whole flock of tanks, to flank. So it's like... I'm going to move up here. I'm getting a little ballsy. I'm the only one on this side of the map, as you can see. So I am figure I'll stay here just to kind of hold hold this position so they can't flank around anyone. Um, you know, there is a leopard over there that I've put a couple shots into. So we're two out of three so far. Um, I get detected right here because this tank is so freaking big it can't hide behind a rock in a bunch of bushes. Um, and there is an artillery in play. And there's that leopard. I put another one into him. 
And his first shot, ammo racks me. Uh huh. Artillery fires at me and misses. Um, yeah. And, you know, a 47, 48 second reload. So now for the next almost a minute, I'm doing nothing. Just sitting here. Nothing to do. Sit here and look. And, you know, I wouldn't think this tank is a horrible tank. If the reload was 36, 37 seconds, you know. But when you're talking getting close to a minute without perks. I mean, I think without perks it's over 50 seconds. And I think mine, I'd have to look to make sure at this game. Because for a while I took the crew out and moved into another tank. So my reload went back up to almost 50 seconds, I think. It should show right here, I believe, at the end of this, what the actual reload is. And I'm not sure if this was the time where I had the base crew in it or if what. Yeah, 48 seconds. That's that's not with a de I think with a decent crew, I got it down to like 46, almost 47, 46.3, 46.5, something like that. But still, 46 seconds to have you. Granted, you have six shells, but unless you get, unless you suck RNGs schlong nightly only four of them at best are going to pen at best unless you were right behind everything a bunch of them are going to bounce or they're going to completely miss what doesn't bounce is going to completely miss the target so you know but it is what it is there's only four tanks left two of them are oops oh, three tanks left so my team has done all the work i've got three penetrations all on that leopard and that was it so like I said, if you're watching this video thinking you're going to get some big outrageous gameplay on the uh, 5100, negative. It's not here. I I can't play it well or it doesn't, whatever, it doesn't work well for me. And But what's good about the video is two of the three people left are, I believe it's Knight and Krager. I believe. So I get to have some fun with some subscribers. Well, at least Knight is a subscriber, so come over here to help the IS, but he gets taken out. But, uh, guess what? Oh, look at that! Yep, right into the dirt. <laughs> um, dum -dum -dum -dum. But this 4502 is... He's got a tank in front of him. He's got me beside him. It's not looking too good for him. One of us is going to get him. Whether it's me or the tank below, one of us is going to have him. And he's out of the game. The IS-4 is up there. And he's going to go up against... I believe that's Krager right there. Or well, that might be Knight. I'm not sure. Maybe maybe Knight's already dead. Maybe the people left is Krager. Yeah, there's Krager. And the other guy. I don't know. So Knight is already already out of the game. I think he sends me a message here at some point. I'm going to try to put one through the Coppola, but he disappears. So now it's pretty much me with this piece of crap tank up against a, I believe it is a uh, E3, right? And an artillery. Um, yeah, this... Me and an artillery against a, thank goodness, almost dead tank destroyer. <laughs> because unless I get behind him, this tank is not going to do anything to him. So, uh, we're going to reload, just so we have six shells, because, you know... I'm used to this tank sucking. <laughs> but we're already down to 10 seconds, so it wasn't a bad reload to do. Um, the artillery is reloading, so that's cool. We're talking back and forth, you know, giving him the affirmative. I'm going to try to light something up for him um, so we at least know where these tanks are at the moment. I'll pull up here and see if I can get a peek. Sneaky peeky. He's ready to fire. So you see I stayed back a little bit. Now that he said ready to fire... I'm going to go up and see uh, what I can see. Sneak up here. Come on. Oh, look at that. There's Knight. <laughs> uh -oh. <Bye> bye <laughs> So now the uh, E3 knows where I am. So I don't want to pop right back up in the same spot. I'm going to see if I can come over this way. Maybe I can still get another spot on Let artillery drop a shell on him. But artillery is already fired. Um, and the shell went low, so that's not going to work. But he must have backed up because he doesn't pick me up right there, so I'm going to go down the hill, and I'm going to move in close. Just uh, my thinking here is, I know Taxi Rio saying he's reloading. The only thing I'm thinking here is just to light him up. 
Uh, I don't want to light him up yet because, you know, if he comes flying down over the hill at me, there's a good chance one smack and I'll be tracked and I already used my repair kit and then, you know, he'll, I'll just bounce 16 million shells off him and he'll end up killing me. So I'm going to sit here and wait till he's reloaded. I didn't pick him up down there. Nothing came up. Oh, Shadow sent me a message. I think Shadow was in the game too, if I remember correctly. Yeah, he was in the game. He was another one on their platoon, I believe. Do 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 do. In position, just waiting for your reload, brother. And then Knight sent me a message. <laughs> so it was kind of funny. But as soon as I get the uh, the the go ahead from the artillery, then I'm gonna pull it up and just try to spot him. All right, there he goes. So, you know, if he one shots me, which is completely possible with that tank, then uh, at least I tell you have a chance to plop one in on his brain. And I'm moving up, and I'm not spotting him yet. So, and the artillery's in a position where, unless I spot him right here, he's not gonna be able to do anything. And he's not right here, obviously. So he must have went down over the hill or went to the back corner. No idea. And then, you know, he says halt. He's going to move. But I'm going to take a chance here. I'm on mic. I'm like, you know, I'm just going to try to light him up. Even if, you know, even if I don't see him. Oh, there he is. Which way is he looking? Oh, he's not looking at me. Ha <laughs> ha. Guess what? Oh, we take one shot into him. He can't turn around quick enough. And I finish him off. So, uh, that was the end of the game. And like I said, this wasn't about my gameplay. Because I am not good in this tank and it sucks. I just figured I had put it on, you know, the Retro Replays, um, Time Warp series. Just because, you know, it had some subscribers in it. And I ended up killing them. <laughs> so, that's always fun. That's always fun, man. Fun. We end up in second place, though. Go figure. The uh, waffle ends up in first with 5,000 damage. But I end up in second with uh, 1167 for base XP, 3 kills, and 1580 for damage dealt. Um, 10 shots fired, 7 hits, and 7 penetrations from them hits, which is odd. You know, RNG was on my side in this game. Um, I received 202 damage, so I really didn't receive. Just received the one hit from the uh, Leopard. And, you know, I played hide-and-seek the whole game. You know, I didn't... And it's a shame, because I don't like doing that with tanks. This is not my play style. I don't like playing, you know, sit back and do nothing the whole game until there's almost nothing left you can kill them. However, it worked out this game, and and it's... You know, it is what it is. It was just fun to, to have a game where I had a couple subscribers on the other team. And uh, we're able to, you know, put some shots into him at some point. Three shots for eight something into the leopard. Uh, two shots for 388 and took out Krager. Knight one shot for 226 took him out of the game. <laughs> Sorry, buddy. And then the FV 202 uh, only 98 damage on one shot, but took him out of the game. So you know everyone else did most of the damage. On, well, I did quite a bit on the leopard, I guess. But other than that, I just cleaned up the scraps. You know, so. Hope you enjoyed the video. Call and rate, subscribe. Give me a thumbs up, thumbs down. Tell me what I did right. And you don't really tell me what I did wrong because I already know I suck at this tank. So, But, uh, yeah. Shoot the red ones.